Former President Donald Trump has been convicted on all 34 felony counts for falsifying business records to violate New York election law during his 2016 campaign. This makes him the first former president to be convicted of a felony. Trump will be sentenced on July 11th, and his team already says they will file an appeal. Atra El Nashar has more. Former President Trump walking out of a Manhattan courtroom, a convicted felon. The 12 person jury delivering the guilty verdict quicker than many experts anticipated, given the complexity of the case. Here's some of what Trump said just minutes after the historic verdict came down. This was a rigged trial by a conflicted judge who was corrupt. It's a rigged trial, a disgrace. Trump's campaign quick to put out a fundraising appeal, calling him a political prisoner. Just hours earlier, the Trump team appeared confident things were going their way. I'm just enthusiastic about the fact that the jury seems to be taking its duties very seriously. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg defending the prosecution's work. We arrived at this trial and ultimately today at this verdict in the same manner as every other case that comes through the courtroom doors. Here in Washington, the White House Counsel's Office says we respect the rule of law and have no additional comment. As for what happens next, the defense and prosecution will get the chance to weigh in on how they think Trump should be sentenced. Judge Juan Mershon will make the ultimate decision, which we'll learn on July 11th. The appeal will start rolling after the sentencing. He can start the appeal process, but that'll the appeals will take uh, years. The appeals process puts any possibility of prison time on hold. I think any prison time is highly unlikely. After all, this is a paperwork crime from a number of years ago. But nonetheless, there's a risk of prison time. The judge has discretion here. Trump's legal team catching some flack for the outcome. First thing Trump has to do is fire his attorneys. His attorneys did not do a good job in preserving issues for appeal. So his attorneys not only made a conviction more likely, they made an appeal less likely. This conviction will not prevent Trump from running for president or holding office in the future. And as long as his sentence is on appeal, his ability to vote in his home state of Florida will not be impacted. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar. Michigan politicians are weighing in on the historic verdict. Democratic Congressman Dan Kildee releasing a statement on X that says in part, quote, the former president received due process and a fair trial. The jury has rendered its verdict and all Americans should respect the verdict and the rule of law. The former president's criminal actions will remain a stain on our nation's history. Republican Congressman Jack Bergman calling today a dark day for the United States, writing on X, quote, the weaponization of our justice system is obvious, egregious, and just sad. This sham of a trial has been purely political from start to finish and indicative of the banana republic that President Biden is hell-bent on turning us into. The verdict in this hush money case marks just one criminal trial the former president faces. Donald Trump is charged with scheming to overturn the 2020 election in Georgia. That trial hasn't been scheduled. He also faces federal charges for the same thing. That trial has been delayed. Trump faces federal charges for allegedly hoarding classified documents after he left the White House. That trial is delayed indefinitely. So this trial could be the only one to go to trial before the November election. And developing tonight, Donald Trump says he will hold a press conference tomorrow at 11 a.m. from Trump Tower. We'll have full coverage for you right here on Up North Live News.